Um, in this presentation, I'm going to try to introduce two concepts to a smart city. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give some idea about the classical concept of a smart city, and I'm going to talk about the ubiquity property in the smart city and the emerging uh, property. And then I'm going to give uh, some idea of a project that we have at this moment around these two concepts. Uh, normally, uh, the word small is used for different things. Small device, in general, a small home, a small city, and uh, in the case of the city, uh, we need to try to understand what does mean this world in this context. Um, and uh, different things that we can see around that. For example, the ICT has been introduced in other contexts, in other industry, in the order of uh, I, to give a process with more uh, automatic, automation. And uh, at this moment, we have a lot of technology in our life, and we can introduce the same idea uh, in this case in other contexts. Uh, that means in the different activity that we have in uh, a city. Uh, that means we can uh, add the automation idea in ICT. We can talk about the ICAT or TICA. TICA is we uh, make the translation in Spanish. Tecnologías de Información, Comunicación y Automatización. Okay. Uh, and use this idea uh, in the general activity of the human being, in the classroom, in the house. Uh, but the main point is that we need to guarantee that uh, uh, certain type of autonomy in this context for the device. Uh, and here, I introduce a first word, self-organizing. Uh, self-organizing uh, like a key concept. Uh, that means uh, the idea is to use the different uh, uh, technology that we have now in the city to make a city smart. And uh, the way to introduce this idea is to exploit the information and the data that we have available in the city in order to improve the different service, in order to improve the different process that we have in a city. That means the, the same city can use this information, this knowledge, to do that. But the main point that this information, this knowledge, must be used for the core process that determine the quality of the life in the city. Here you have an, a set of systems that compose the different activity of the life, for example, the transport system. In a city like San Jose, it's a very important that you talk all the time about the traffic, about the, the different problems that you have at this level. That is a very important system. The energy system, the production system, 
That means the different process of the city must exploit the knowledge of the information that is available, generate for the same city. A, the people that live in the city is immersed in this decision process all the time. And the idea is that the city, in an autonomous way, could get this information in order to improve the different process and uh, to do that, the smart, thing, uh, the smart city needs to think about the future, building the present. Uh, there are a lot of initiatives in the world around that. IEE has an initiative here in Latin America, Guadalajara is the city that is inside of this initiative. Uh, but there are other uh, places here in, in Latin America that work around the idea of smart city. In Brazil, Curitiba, in Ecuador, uh, Yashay, in Panama, Ciudad del, del Saber. Europe has a big initiative around that. That means there are a lot of uh, effort in different uh, places around the world uh, about this idea, introduce uh, the concept smart in a city. But normally, uh, uh, this different initiative uh, work around one of these systems, for example, the energy system or the transport system. But one main point here is look the smart city like a system of system, uh, where they use the knowledge for the different activity of the city. Uh, and uh, the idea is to use this knowledge to the different decision-making process, but in one automatic way. way. That means they extract, the city extract the, the knowledge from the data, and uh, the city use this knowledge in the different process uh, in order to improve the, the quality of the life of the city. Uh, and what is the idea behind that? The main idea is that the smart city produces a lot of information. When a smart city has a lot of data, when we use, for example, when we use our phone device, when we send a message using WhatsApp or Twitter, or that is the type of data that the city can use. It's the data that we produce all time. And we consume this data. We make decisions about that. And the idea is that the city use this information uh, in order to uh, improve the different process that compose the life of the city. Uh, and normally, one aspect here is try to extract the knowledge behind this information that is produced in the city. Uh, uh, I have said to you that normally uh, the smart city projects are focused in one specific aspect, 
to improve one specific uh, element of the life of the city. But uh, we're going to try to introduce two concepts to enrich the ideas of smart city. To give the, this capacity of uh, make decision, make intelligent decision in a given moment. And uh, the main one is around the ubiquity idea. That means uh, to see the, the city like a place where there are a lot of service, uh, as a service that we can arrange according to the necessity that the city has in a given moment. And here is the idea of self-organization. And uh, the other idea is that this type of service must be transparent. That is the, the, idea, the idea around calm technology. And with the deal of the wikity, uh, we can see the, the city like a place where a lot of different type of service and uh, different type of service in a prosumer uh, approach. That means where there are a lot of producer and a lot of consumer. And someone that is a producer in a given moment, in other moment, can be a consumer. That means we can uh, change the role according to the capability that we have in a given moment or according to the necessity that we have in a given moment. And with this idea, we are going to have different set of services that can, uh, can be created according to the requir requirement that uh, in a given moment we can have in, in the city. Different type of service in different domain and different aspect. Uh, around the service, we can create the new service. Uh, with this idea, the idea to improve the quality of the life of the city. But one ubiquity city needs to study a specific problem. One of them is around the data. We need to include technology to, uh, to process the data, big data, data analysis, are some of, uh, some of the uh, paradigm that we need to include. Uh, that means we need to uh, introduce these different concepts in different domains that at this moment are uh, aspect that we study in the domain of computer science. Uh, for that, we need to include this different domain in a, a middle world, a middle world where uh, we can support uh, this type of requirement where we need to cache the data from the city and from this data, we can create these different services uh, for the different citizens in a different place where this, city, this service uh, can be consumed. Uh, this is one of the aspects. There are other aspects, for example, we need to create one ecosystem, one innovation eco uh, ecosystem to create these different services. This is the task for the different citizens of the city. It's not only for the government. Uh, and we need to create synergy between the different actors, the university, the government, among other. 
And uh, here we have a, an example of the different technology that we need to include to guarantee the wicked idea in a city. Uh, the other aspect is the emergent concept. Uh, and the idea of emergent is uh, when we have when, uh, when we have uh, a phenomenon what, that we can describe the phenomenon in a high level, but uh, in the micro level, the characteristic of the element that compose the phenomenon cannot describe this phenomenon at the higher level. And it, uh, a city is one emergent system, that means has this property. In a city, we can find pattern. For example, in a city we can uh, find uh, regions with different characteristics. We can have region where uh, we find, for example, the store, uh, one type of store, we can have place uh, in the city uh, with this, uh, with different, uh, with one specific culture, activity in the city. That means there are one emergence of the behavior of the citizen in each one of this region. And the main idea is that uh, one city can exploit that to improve the quality of the life of the city. Uh, one a smart city can create indicator about this specific characteristic of the different place in the city, and according to this characteristic, to try to improve the service around this specific aspect that describes each zone of the city. Uh, and uh, when we study this type of system, the emergent system, there are uh, uh, different aspects that we need con to consider. For example, uh, at the level of the culture of each zone of the city, there are different uh, elements at the, level, at the social, uh, in the social process of this uh, region that we need con to consider. For example, the way that the decisions are, uh, are made. It's very important to study this type of aspect. Uh, and uh, if we can character characterize this aspect in the city, we need to include at the level of the technology the element that can allow the emergence process in the city. That is the main point. And this uh, emergence process allows one very important aspect, is the social intelligence. That means it's one type of intelligence that is created by the citizen of the city. And uh, this social intelligence can be used to improve the quality of the different system, of the different process that compone the city. Uh, for example, uh, the, the social intelligence has different names in the literature, collective intelligence, soar intelligence. Um, uh, here in this slide, I have one example of the way that we can exploit this type of uh, intelligence in a city. For example, the way to define the planning of the city change when we we have one approach different to, 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 to plan a city. 
because this is a process, is a collective process that use the different knowledge that we have. Uh, and the technology must allow that, must allow this type of thing. Uh, that means we see the city like a machine learning. Like machine learning where all of the components work uh, with certain types of autonomy and when they collaborate, there are a self-organizing the life of the city in order to produce the service, the different service that the city needs in a given moment. Uh, and when we are going to find different patterns with specific characteristics and uh, the city can exploit this pattern in the different decision-making process. Uh, these two main concepts of Wikipedia and Emma Jones must be introduced in the middle world that cuts the different data from the different process of the city and use this data is used by the different system and by the, and, and by the different technology that we can include to generate knowledge from this data. Uh, that means the way to respond to the, uh, to the new uh, requirement, uh, requirement of the city is to exploit the data, the knowledge and the information that the same city has. And we need, for this type of challenge, uh, to improve the quality, the sustainability of the city, we need to include in a different way the technology until now. Uh, the Wikipedia have different elements that introduce in the city. Uh, and the main point is that the Wikipedia uh, Wikipedi allow to use with different type of service this knowledge behind of the data of the city, and the Merions allow to introduce the idea of autonomy and self-organization of the different elements, that com the, the technology elements that compose the city. And that is very important because it's one approach that allows the no determinist of the process, of the typical process that we have in the city. Uh, and particularly uh, around that, around the idea of Marion's, is the idea of social intelligence that can be used by the city in order to create this service this specific service that one smart city must create in order to improve the quality of the life of this, of this citizen. Uh, we have, at this moment, we have uh, this PH thesis around that. This is the middle world that we work to introduce this idea the idea of ubiquity and emergence. Here we have this middle world is, ba is based on two paradigms. The first one is multi-agent system. That means we model the city 
we model the different system, the core system of the city, like multi-agent system. And the other aspect that we have here is the idea of cloud, uh, cloud computing. We mix these two paradigms to allow the idea of ubiquity and emergence. Uh, and uh, in this way, uh, uh, we, we extend, uh, um, also we extend the idea of middle world with the autonomic and reflective idea because the emergence and the ubiquity uh, are generated with uh, uh, this uh, element that compose the middle world. That means uh, we think that uh, one smart city, uh, the concept of smart city uh, must be, uh, can be improved if we can introduce this type of concept in order to guarantee the no determinism of classic in a smart city, uh, in the life of the smart city, to solve the problem of the present, but thinking in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.